Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm, Conscient Team Shadow Strike, and this is going to be a video that I, <coughs> excuse me, I was doing with um, another fellow Vanguard tuber, Siren Frost, and I suggested that we both um, do a Q&A video and we can just ask questions and um, both post a video responding to each other and you all could hear the questions and respond to them in the comment section on either of our videos if you wish. We both just thought it would be a good idea. Now, this is not just a one-time thing with Siren. If you are a Vanguard tuber or you want to have, um, you want to ask me questions, I'm going to start a new Q&A video kind of thing um, because um, I think it would be, it'll be good. You know, I think it'd be something that um, we'll all have fun with. So in the comment section below on the Q&A videos, if you leave a question, I will not answer it until I do my next Q&A video. So in the comment section below, if you have a question for me, you may leave it below and I will answer it on my next Q&A video. I'm going to try and do a Q&A video maybe once a week. Not going to, you know, promise anything, but that's going to be the goal. <laughs> so, so I asked Siren these seven questions and then uh, I'm going to respond to them as well. So um, if you want to check out Siren's answers, you can go check it out on that channel, which I'll leave the link to the description in the in below and you can go check her out. So anyway, guys, so let's just jump straight into this. I'll answer all these. Thank you very much, Siren, for doing this with me. I thought it was really fun. Sorry I didn't post this earlier because I think you... Um, I think you posted your video, I think Friday, maybe Saturday, but, um, I, Sunday, I was, I literally didn't do a damn thing Sunday, guys. I, I, I didn't do a damn thing. I literally slept in, I grilled that night, I didn't do shit. I was just like, you know what, <laughs> I'm not doing anything today. Monday, I went to my locals, um, you know, and then I recorded some matches for you guys. There'll be matches again on the channel, yay. Um, I haven't, and, you know, and then today, um, I said I'm going to finally get this taken care of. So anyway, um, let's t get into these questions. Thanks again, Siren, for doing this with me. Um, hopefully we can do something like this or another video in the future. And I also want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to any Vanguard tuber, whether this is Siren, whether this is anybody who has ever watched any of my videos. I am willing um, to... Uh, if you guys would like to get into Vanguard tubing, but you want to appeal to an audience to tell them that you're going to start doing videos and, you know, kind of introduce yourself, um, I am willing to, um, to open my channel to guest uploads. So if you are another Vanguard tuber and you would like to, maybe if you have, you know, your audience, I have mine, maybe you can upload and introduce yourself to mine. Um, you know, I would be more than willing to do that. So if that is something that interests any of you, all you have to do is ask. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to jump straight into these seven questions now. So for the first question, what is your favorite clan and why? <clears throat> well, this is a pretty easy answer um, for me. Um, me, my favorite clan is Kagero. I, when I very first got into the game, um, I bought four Blaster Blade Trial Decks and four Dragonic Overlord Trial Decks, or four Royal Paladin, four Kagero to be more specific. And I played Royal Paladin, um, you know, at first, you know, a little bit, um, because I did love the Barkle Soul Saber deck, but I always loved Dragonic Overlord. I just loved how he looked, um, because if I think all the way back when I very first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh, the first trial deck I ever bought was the Kaiba Structure deck, and I bought three of them, so I had three blue eyes. You know, um, I've always loved dragons. They symbolize power, freedom, um in some cases, beauty, divinity. I just have always loved dragons. They're just so mystical and awesome. and They're just amazing. I've always loved dragons. And then when I saw Dragonic Overlord, I just, I had my two decks, but to be real honest, looking back at it, I played my Barkle Soul Saber deck a fair amount, but I just loved playing the Kagero deck because I love Dragonic Overlord. Um, you know, but Kagero is my favorite clan. It, it is. Um, I just, I love the clan. Period. There's no, nothing else to really say. Which of the anime characters do you connect to most and why? Well, <clears throat> um, I've been told that I remind people of uh, of Kai because sometimes I, I can be a little bit cold and so, so can Kai. Um, I've been told... Uh, uh, What's-his-face? Uh, Ren. 
I've been told I could connect with Ren in some ways, you know, but honestly, I'd say Kai because we both, no matter, I mean, he went to Narukami, then he went back to Kagero. He went to Royal Paladin, then he went back to Kagero, you know, so maybe I'd say Kai just because it always seems no matter what other clans I go out to, he even went to Link Joker, came back to Kagero. So, and to me, it's kind of the same way. I love Link Joker. I love, you know, Royal Paladin, but I always come back to Kagero. So I think I'd have to say Kai, you know, um, um, I like, I really like him. If I had to pick a second, uh, honestly, I'm starting to like, um, Chrono a little bit more, you know, he's, he's finally starting to, his character's starting to grow on me a little bit. He's nowhere near Kai. I'm not, like, if I had to pick a second, it would have, it'd probably have to be Chrono or Ren, but, um, without a doubt, I, I think I'll say Kai. Um, number three, do you believe card games can be therapeutic? Um, <clears throat> the reason I asked Siren this question, um, and I'm not going to answer this question directly, but you can figure out my answer indirectly by, based on what I tell you. Um, I got really hurt in high school, and um, I <clears throat> lost an opportunity at a, at a football scholarship and really upset me. Um, um, and I was depressed. I was doing some things that aren't exactly healthy. Um, I was partying a lot. I'll leave it at that. And I was very depressed um, around this time. Also, I lost my best friend. He was killed uh, in a drive-by where I lived. And I was not doing well. Um, I was very depressed. Um, I was very sad. I lost my best friend that I'd met since I was two years old. Um, and I and I went to I went to a small school. And uh, my best friend. Um, I'm not saying this to get for any special reason, but I went to a school where there were some people who still were considered extremely racist, and my best friend was black, and um, he, uh, when I met him, I think we were two years old, and I didn't see anything, you know, Pat, I, I saw the person who, who would be responsible for a lot of who I am today. Um, I miss him every day of my life. I love him to, I love him to death. He, um, I would do anything to have him back with me, um, but, you know, I didn't have anything else to really get excited about. Um, I was very sad. I was very depressed. I wasn't doing much, you know, and then all of a sudden I was cleaning out a closet one day and I found uh, my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And as much as I despise the game now because of what it's become, Yu-Gi-Oh at that time, as much as I, you know, as much as as much hate as I have against Konami for turning the game into basically a money hole, um, Yu-Gi-Oh gave me something else to focus on. I had to, I remembered all the rules, but I had to remember how to build a deck. I had to remember strategizing, and it 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 gave my mind something to focus on. And so it it was something that it, it got me through those hard times. Um, and I think it's safe to say that if Vanguard was available at that time, I probably wouldn't have even picked the game up because I thought, what's the point, you know? I, but, you know, if there's one thing that Yu-Gi-Oh! did was it gave me something to not forget what happened, but to de help deal with it. It gave me another outlet to play, to get that off my mind. And um, I think... Konami for that, and I love Yu-Gi-Oh! for that one reason, and I, I won't deny, part of me misses even playing the game because of the joy it gave me to think about something else besides everything I was losing and everything that was happening, <sighs> you know, but I, I just don't see myself ever returning to the game, even though that's hard for me to say, because I still, I still watch, you know, a couple Yu-Gi-Oh! videos that are on YouTube from time to time, because I do miss... I miss I miss, I think I miss what Yu-Gi-Oh used to be. Be and that's why when maybe if you guys see me get a little more mad about Yu-Gi-Oh when people say that Yu-Gi-Oh is better than Vanguard because Vanguard's based on all luck, which is total bullshit, it's because Yu-Gi-Oh used to not be that. It used to be fun. The players used to be nice people and not complete dickheads and there's I can count on one hand how many Yu-Gi-Oh! players I can stomach now. One hand. Um, 
just based on my locals. And my locals used to have 35, 40 people tournaments, you know, and there's a good chunk of those players I can't even stand anymore. And it it's sad to see a game that did so much good for me. It's turned a lot of good people into just assholes. And, you know, maybe a little bit more than just one hand, but it... it, it, it it's no more than a handful. Like it, it's easy, less than ten. You know, I mean, it, it it's sad, but Yu-Gi-Oh at that time, <clears throat> it saved me because, and as stupid as that sound, guys, because I know it does. A card game gave me something else to focus my mind on. So. Is card games therapeutic? I think I answered that question. I'm not going to dignify it with a yes or no answer. You can just determine what you got out of that little speech there. I'm sorry if I went on a little rant there, but the reason I asked Siren this question is that question, that that's a question that's been very important to me. So um, I just wanted to make sure that I explain myself. <clears throat> Number four. How did you first get into Vanguard? Well, I have answered this question, I think, like seven or eight times, but I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I think it was the Chaos Dragon format, I think. Um, I was playing the game. I was having fun, I, you know, mainly just because of my friends because, I, you know, I wasn't really doing as good anymore because I refused to spend $200 a piece on tour guides at the time. But... Our owner of our game shop, Tom, he had the Royal Paladin and Kagiro Trial Decks along with the Booster Set 1 and the Booster Set 2. And he was like, hey, uh, Jaden, uh, we have this new card game here, and um, it's supposedly really good in Japan. I th you know, um, you might give it a shot. Well, <clears throat> I told him, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I really don't want to dump more money into another card game. Uh, I really don't want to. You know, and he said, well, here you go. I have these little DVDs here, and it was the first four episodes of the anime dubbed in English. And he said, so you can take this home, check it out, and if you like it, it maybe that'll give you your answer. And I said, well, how much is the DVD? And he said, it's free. And I said, okay, even better. I'll take it home. I'll watch it. If I like it, I'll be back tomorrow to buy some stuff. If not, I wasted maybe an hour and a half of my time. <clears throat> so I stayed there that night, had fun with my friends, came home. I remember it well. I literally stopped at a Sonic drive-in on my way home to get me dinner. I came home. I sat in... Uh, ac actually, I didn't have my chair at that time. I actually sat on this couch. I ate my dinner, and I put in um, the uh, Vanguard disc, and by the end of the second disc, what the two-parter and the first two episodes were Aichi and Kyra fighting, I was hooked. I was like, this game looks fun. The artworks look absolutely amazing. Um, it looks like it it, it looks like something that I would enjoy. So the very next day, guys, I was at um, um, the front door of my game shop, or locals, whatever you want to call it, Alien Games, at the, di the time they open, which on Sunday at that time I believe was 11, now they open up at noon. Um, no, I think they did open up at noon at that time too, but it doesn't matter. I was literally there the second it opened. I bought four Royal Paladin Trial Decks, four Kagero Trial Decks, and I bought a booster box of set one and a booster box of set two to get started. And I don't regret anything. I love this game. Um, it I loved it so much. Six months later, I completely quit Yu-Gi-Oh! Because the game was so much more fun. It was more innovative. It was more room for more creativity. You could strategize more. It just wasn't one big money hole that you just had to keep throwing $500 into every six months just to, just to stay competitive because the ban list for Yu-Gi-Oh! just got so stupid. And they forced you to play one of three to four decks. And if you did not play these one to three, four decks, you just didn't win. And I don't think that's right. Um, so that's how I got into Vanguard. And <laughs> you know what? Um, thank you, Tom, for giving me that DVD. So um, question five, favorite hobbies outside of Vanguard? Um, I like to, I like gaming. Um, I like to play my guitar. Um, I, I've coached um, a couple little kid football teams. Um, a basketball team once. I enjoy working. I enjoy doing other things in the sport um, since I can't play that much anymore um, because of my let because of my knee and my back and my shoulder. Um, um, you know, and there are people who wonder why I still go and deal with football because it's really hurt, injured my body. The answer is because as I still love the game. Um, but um, 
<clears throat> I've, I do that. Um, I, re I, um, I, I have a PlayStation 4 now, guys, so while we're on the topic, um, if any of you out there have a PlayStation 4 and you would like to add me as a friend, my my uh, my name on there is pretty easy to remember. It is Shadow Overlord 52 my favorite Sonic character and the mascot of my channel, my favorite <laughs> unit in Vanguard and my avatar, and my old football jersey number, and the football jersey number of my hero. So you can find me real easy. My profile picture is a picture of Dragonic Overlord the X. So if you type in Shadow Overlord 52 and you see a picture of the X, that's me. Um, you can add me. Um, if you do add me and I don't recognize your name at first, please send me a little message saying I know you, I know you from your YouTube videos and I'll add you. Um, and if I'm ever online and you want to send me a chat request and you want to just shoot the breeze, I'm all for it. So it, um, I love that. Um, <clears throat> I love, uh, I love playing golf. I still play golf. Um, I thought I wouldn't be able to play golf anymore because of my shoulder. Um, but, um, it took me a while to readjust, but um, I can still play very well. Um, I was a state champion in golf in high school, so it's nice to see I didn't lose that. Um, but um, I think, you know, those are a lot of hobbies that I still have. Um, I still enjoy drawing. I haven't drawn in forever. Um, I used to draw quite a bit. Um, but, um, you know, I mean, just, just a couple of things. So um, those are a few of them. Um, question six. You have been injected into the anime. What three characters would you want to meet personally the most and hang out with? Well, the first one easy choice for me is Kai. I would love to meet Kai and um, just challenge him to a game. Um, you know, uh, <clears throat> I, I, because like I've told you, I've, I connect with Kai a lot because in the very beginning of the anime, he's a loner and I know that feeling a lot Um I used to be a real closed off guy. I didn't really, the guy you see in these videos now, guys, um, if I, if you could see the guy from three years ago, or probably no way, actually it's been five years now, give or take. Um, if you could see the guy from that time, um, he would not have done these videos. He would not have the great friends that he has. Um, uh, my friends now, um, I consider the best friends that I have is my friend Ryan, my friend Sam, my friend Christian, my friend Cody, you know, people like that. Um, my friend Zach and Connor, they wouldn't, they wouldn't want anything to do with me and I wouldn't blame them. Um, I was not a nice guy. I was very rude. I was very cold. Um, I was just, I, I was not a nice guy. Um, and so I can understand why Kai is a loner. So I think I'd want to meet Kai. Um, I think I'd also want to meet um, Jamie <laughs> or Jaime Alcaraz, whatever you want to call him. Mainly because no matter what, no matter what you did that day, considering how crazy he is, you'd have fun. <laughs> you know, I think it's safe to say if you saw the episode where Chrono first met him, yeah. Jamie, Jaime, whatever, dragged him all over the city. But you know what? I think it's safe to say Chrono had a great day. Um, and I, I would love to do that. Um, I wouldn't mind um, meeting... Uh, I wouldn't mind meeting Ren. Ren would be fun. You know, Ren would be a pretty pretty good person to uh, uh, hang out with. He, you certainly would be entertained because Ren is basically a 10-year-old in the body of a serious person. Um so, I mean, Ren would be a fun person to hang out with. Um, I also wouldn't mind meeting Tetsu. Tetsu seems really, really cool. Um, uh, but I, I, I would have to say for the three, it would be Kai, it would be Jaime Alcarez, and Ren. I think those are the three I'd want to meet the most. Um, and then finally, question seven. The big question, who is your avatar and why? Easy. Dragonic Overlord of any form. Dragonic Overlord, Dragonic Overlord the End, Dragonic Overlord the Cross, Dragonic Overlord Rebirth, Dragonic Overlord the Great. Um, so um, I just love Dragonic Overlord. He He's my avatar. He, for some weird reason, every deck I've ever built with Overlord, I have just moments of stupidness with him. I can remember my Rebirth deck, and I ripped six crits off the top of the deck. Um, with my six drive checks, I am not making that up. It, I wish I would have been recording that. It was so stupid, guys. Um, the great, I've pulled four crits with him. Um, I once was able to uh, 
you know, use the... I remember back in the old days with Draconic Overlord using his Counter Blast 3 to attack a rear guard, attack a rear guard, then attack a vanguard. I remember ripping three crits with that. I just have had so many oh my god moments with Draconic Overlord that I think it's clear to say that no matter what form Overlord is in, he is my avatar easy so anyway guys those are the questions and um so thank you again siren frost for doing this with me it really meant a lot um I, to be honest i wanted to start doing interactive videos with other vanguard tubers and um <clears throat> this opportunity with siren presented itself so i figured this would be a great way to introduce that there's a lot of other you, of you guys that i've i've seen you guys Ever since my earliest videos, to name a few, Bob Smith, Kaiser Gray RS, um, you know, anybody out there who's watched my videos ever since the start, you guys mean a lot to me because um, this, to me, was is fun. I love sharing my ideas with you. So if you're another Vanguard tuber and you would like to do an interactive video where both of us film something or... We do guest uploads on each other's channels or anything, or you want to do more of these Q&A videos, all you have to do is let me know. Um, if you do have a question, again, leave it in the comment section below. In the next Q&A video, I will be answering it. So if you do comment, please leave one question. I don't care what you ask me. You can ask me how the universe began, and I'll do my very best to give you my guess at it. But um, you can ask me anything about the game, uh, Vanguard, sports, I don't care. You can ask me any kind of question and I will answer. And as many questions there are, I will answer each and every single one of them. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you would like to do a video with me or do a guest upload or anything, all you have to do is send me an email or leave it in the comment section below and ask me for the email and I will give it to you and we can talk about something to do. I'm currently in discussions with someone about doing a new podcast um, with Bob Smith. Um, so I'm trying to think up new and innovative ideas for you guys. So if there is something that you would like me to do with on my, to to do a video together, um, you want to upload a video on my channel so you can get into Vanguard tubing. I'm willing to help any of you guys out as long as you let me know. So thank you very much, guys, for all your support, and I'll see you next time.